everybody, it's Alexa and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about the new Erin Condren 2017 planner. I have been using Erin Condren planners for two or three years now and I absolutely love them. And since there are a lot of new things within the new 2017 planner, I figured I would go over them with you guys. So in the video, I'm going to be doing a comparison between the 2016 and 2017 planner as well as talking about the pros and cons of the new planner. As always, if you guys are interested in purchasing anything from Erin Condren and would like $10 off your first purchase, be sure to use my coupon code in the description box. All you have to do is type it in at the checkout and it will give you $10 off your purchase. I will also have all the items mentioned in this video listed down below so that you can easily find them. And let's jump in and see the new planner. So this is what the cover of the new 2016-2017 Erin Condren Lux Edition planner looks like. And like I said in the intro, I'm just going to go over the pros and cons of the planner and then I'm going to show you guys a bunch of other new things Erin Condren came out with. To start off with, this is one of the ready to ship planners and because I'm not really into doing these sticker spreads I decided to go with the hourly layout and so far I really enjoy it I also have a horizontal layout one here this is my planner from last year I do have a video on this one as well so if you would like to see that you can go ahead and check the link in the description box or in the iCard but this one is just the horizontal layout and I really was not a fan of it which is why I went with the hourly layout now moving into the pros and cons I'm first going to start off with the pros so the first pro is that in this planner, the clear pocket that you always get with your planner is separate from the actual planner. Previous Erin Condren planners had the clear pocket, but it was attached to the coils in the back. But now it is completely separate from the planner. If you are someone who likes having this clear pouch in your planner, you could easily attach a coil clip to the top and bottom and keep it in the planner. Another pro to this planner is that the cover is really durable. As you guys can see, it is a durable cardboard and I absolutely love that because the planner isn't going to bend weirdly or anything if you throw it in your bag like I do. In comparison with the previous Erin Condren planner, the plastic covers are pretty durable, but they do have a tendency to bend and fold. I noticed with this one when I would throw it in my bag, sometimes it would come out bent like this, and that's not something that's going to happen with this one. Another pro is the hourly layout. As I said previously, I'm not into doing the whole sticker spreads, and I really did not like the horizontal layout. And the hourly layout is perfect, especially Especially because you are easily able to put classes you have, appointments, and stuff like that. And the last pro are the neutral colors. As you guys can see, everything is just black and white. That way, if you were to do a sticker spread, you could easily do whatever colors you want and you wouldn't have to worry about matching the specific colors for that week. Moving on to the cons, the first one and the biggest one for me is that the cover is not interchangeable. You can get this planner with the interchangeable cover, but since this one is a ready to ship one you cannot do that and that is probably the biggest downside to this planner another con to this planner is the new folder design in the back of the planner if you guys look it is super super shallow this means that if you put papers and stuff in here they have a tendency to fold forward more or fall out and the last con to this planner that I have found is the quality of the actual print on the pages I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell but everything is just super grainy as if they used a bad printer and I know personally that I am not the only one who has had this issue or noticed this I've watched a ton of other planner reviews of this new planner and other people have said the same exact thing about the quality in comparison with a previous planner as you guys can see everything is super crisp right here however on the new one it is just really grainy and smudgy looking but other than that I think this is a great planner if I had to choose between the two planners I would 100% definitely go with the new Lux Edition one over one of the normal Erin Condren life planners. Overall, I just think this one is built way better than this one. However, this one, the print came out way better. Now that I've gone over and shown you guys a little bit of the planner, I'm going to go through and show you some of the new things Erin Condren came out with. So like I said earlier, the new clear pocket is separate from the planner. I also am really in love with the zipper closure. That is definitely something new for these pockets. Before, you would have to just press it down like a Ziploc bag. I'm also really in love with the carry it all clutches. This is just a neoprene sleeve that you can put all your planner supplies in and then on the front it just says believe you can and you will and on the back it is just the classic Erin Condren polka dots. And 
And now I'm just going to open it up and show you guys a bunch of the new things in it. First off, we have the Live Life in Color Fine Tip Markers. There is a red, a pink, an orange, a light blue, a lime green, and then a gray. I don't think these are any different from the last ones I showed you guys. I really like that they are in this hard plastic container as opposed to the cardboard box like they were a few years ago. However, I do wish they would do away with this little hanger on the top because not many people actually use that. Something new that they came out with are these metallic mini snap in bookmarks and they have sayings on them. They say create, motivate, and inspire. I think these are really cute to mark where you are in the planner and they are just built into coil clips. They also have new keep it together metallic pen holders. In previous years the pen holders were sold in single packs and now they come with three. I really like how this comes with three because now you can put one going across the top of your planner as well as on the side so you can hold more pens than one. They also have new magnetic page markers. These are also another thing that you can use to mark what page you are on. They also have metallic snap in dashboards so you can clip this in wherever you want in your planner and just write on it and then wipe it off. If you wanted to you could put your grocery list, your to-do list or something like that on this and then wipe it off when you are done. There are a ton of new colors for the keep it together bands. These are perfect for putting around your planner so that if you have stuff in your planner it doesn't come out. It's also a good way to keep your planner from opening if you throw it in your bag. This is just one of their always a reason and season to celebrate designer sticker books and this is the monthly collection one. And lastly I have a pack of sticky storage pockets. These can be used on the monthly dividers or on a single page and they just have different sayings. So that is just a little overview in comparison of the new planner. So far I am absolutely in love with it and definitely recommend getting the hourly layout. I haven't regretted getting it at all so far. If you guys are Erin Condren fans be sure to let me know in the comments down below because I would love to hear. I would also love to hear which planner you have. If you guys like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. While you are down there be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when I upload new videos. If you guys would like to see what I do off camera be sure to go over and add me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is just alexas.life and I post pictures of food, things I'm doing, and stuff like that. Another good way to keep up with me off camera is to follow me on Instagram and Twitter both of which are alexas underscore underscore life and again I post pictures of food, things I'm doing, and stuff like that. I also do a ton of polls on Twitter asking you guys what you want to see for videos so if you are interested in having a say in what I upload here on my channel be sure to go follow me. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys! Thank you.